Hi everyone and welcome to the first ever episode of Ad Create Society's PSI Love You. And uh, today's tutorial will be making thousand word portraits or uh, we'll be turning ordinary pictures into these kind of pictures wherein your face will be composed of several or thousands of words. Now this tutorial I found online on Layers Magazine. In fact, we'll provide a link below this video if you guys want a uh, text step-by-step -step version of the tutorial. See, yeah. So for the first step, we'll be using a a high contrast or a picture that provides a good contrast. This will be easier to deal with as compared to a picture that has a relatively low contrast. And it would be better if you use a lighter or a well illuminated image. Then, uh, okay, so step two, you'll have to type in the words that you want to appear on your thousand words portrait. Uh, I already typed out four different texts with four different fonts. Once you guys do that, we're going to turn them into brush presets. And how we do that is we'll first select the text, select and then edit, define brush preset, and then rename or name that brush. We'll name this one 1. Now these brush presets will appear in your um, in your brushes. I mean, in your brush choices, and we'll be using them later on. Now back to the image. This next step uh, will be extracting the midtones and the shadows from the original image. Let's start by extracting the the shadows. So first. First we click select and then color range and then we go to shadows. Now it will select all the shadows in the image and all we have to do is copy command or control C then paste control V. Now you see it made a new layer and pasted the shadows on that layer. So we'll repeat that step. However, we'll be getting the midtones this time. So select color range and then midtones. Then we'll click OK. And then see it selected all the midtones. Then all you have to do is copy, control C, and then paste, control V. See that made another layer, but this time with the midtones. Now for the midtones, we'll be filling it with 50% gray. We're going to edit, fill, 50% gray. Now make sure you have preserved transparency checked or else this won't work. Now that was supposed to make all the midtones turn into gray. Then I want you to click layer 1 or the shadows layer and then do the same but this time we'll make it black then next you'll have to merge these two layers the shadows and midtones you do that by layer and then merge layers or you could use a shortcut control E or for Mac users command E there See, so if I hide the background, it's supposed to show a transparent version of the image, but with only midtones and shadows. Next, we'll be making a new layer, but we'll be filling it all white. Okay. So next, we'll be filling out the text. So remember the brush presets we made earlier? Yeah, now we'll be making use of them. So we create a new layer, 
and turn uh, go to your color palette and select black now go to your text and select the first one in our case it's this one that says Tracy Torres on all capital all capital letters we'll go to the brush there the brush brush tabs or brush icon sorry and then we'll go to shape dynamics then select size jitter and slowly move it a few notches pro then angle jitter also go to brush tip shape and add the spacing until you can see a fair amount of space between between the texts there so that should be okay just keep brushing all over the image just cover her cover the entire uh, the entire shadows and midtones layer with text like this but make sure to make use of all the the brush presets we made earlier Is create a layer mask but we'll be masking the text such that it only it's only confined within the shape of the image or the shape of the figure we made earlier so we'll be make we'll first select the entire layer one I pressed control or command a for this then copy or command C or control C now go back to the text layer and then create a layer mask or go to this icon down here. Now that will create a layer mask. Now this time I want you guys to hold Alt and then click the layer mask. Now that will make the entire image white. Now you can paste the, the image we copied earlier there make sure this is aligned with the with what we did earlier because if you, if it's not aligned it it'll ruin it'll ruin the the placing of the other parts of the image now uh, we pasted the image but what we'll be needing is the inverse the in the inverse of of this image so we'll be getting that getting there by clicking command or control for windows and then I there. then we go back to the text image then hide uh, layer one or hide the the image with the shadows and mid next we'll be creating a new layer and then the nice part of it or the nice thing about this this um, design is that the more imperfections the better what I mean is it it, it would be nice that if uh, there were a few texts uh, overlapping or going beyond that uh, mask we made earlier we might have to go back every now and then to the old image to to add more text to make the features more visible because this for example you really can't see her face that much so I'm adding more texts in that area to make it more visible or make it pop even more there 
so next we'll be adding we'll be adding more text but this time we'll be getting it from a text generator online the the tutorial at layers magazine provided a link it's blindtextgenerator.com now all you have to do is generate the text copy the entire thing and then paste it here so we select the text tool then create a box or a, or a bounding area and then we paste now we'll have to fix the font in the spacing after you guys paste it so we'll, f we'll pick a plain font like Arial or something and then let's make the f mix the font size a little bit smaller even more small then make the spacing around there then all you have to do is just keep copy and pasting it copy paste paste until it covers the entire the entire image what we do is we copy that layer mask and then paste it on that test text so that it again bounds itself within the the shape of the figure and we do this by holding alt and then click the layer mask and drag it above the text layer and then drop or or release the alt key and now we'll be adding colors uh, we'll be doing this by going to the FX the layer style with the FX icon then we add a gradient overlay style now we click double click the gradient so you can alter or choose your colors and I have presets here but I prefer to use my own colors or choose my own color combination for example for Tracy we'll be using purple or something yeah, purple is good. And if it's darker. And then we could probably use sky blue or bright blue, light blue. You can add as many colors as you want, but it would be best if you keep your colors to around two or three. And then you can change the angle if you want. To make it to change it up a bit the text layer we did earlier with all the brushes you're gonna copy that that effect on the other other text layer we did but this time it was the one we got from text generator on text generator.com we do that by clicking again alt and then you drag it above that layer and then release see and then again the effect will be copied then you do the same thing but this time on the overlapping text or this layer 4 you do that by again clicking alt and then pasting it over that layer and there you pretty much have it all done so again from from this image we turned it into this image so I hope you guys like the tutorial and we look forward to having you guys watch our future videos